Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, October 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have basically been all over the place. We are struggling here in the middle of the bullish band, did break above, and then gave most of those gains back. We did also fall earlier in the trading session, but at the moment, we have been we dropped from the highs to the very lows here that's a roughly 8.5 percent and that's fairly low i wasn't expecting this to fall all the way down to the 200 moving average and we'll probably see that it could mean that we get rejected here in the middle of the bullish band and then continue down to the 200 moving average before seeing the rally at the end of the year if we break above the 50 moving average and then we could go back to the previous highs we have a crossing here of the macd which is a bullish shine the stochastic is also bullish and the rsi is flat at this point so let's look at the dow jones so the dow jones got rejected at the 50 moving average we have a rejection right here here and also here so it seems like the 50 moving average is uh, the the moving average that we basically have to break in order to go back to the previous highs otherwise we may go sideways for the for the dow jones looks like the bottom here is a 200 moving average and the highest the 50 moving average so we may see this a pull back towards the 200 before in, in getting enough momentum before going higher so we have had periods where then the dow jones has gone sideways and we have witnessed a fairly big pullback towards the 200 moving average uh, very recently but compared to other pullbacks in the past this is around eight percent and usually it's around 10 to 12 percent and in some cases 15 percent but macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is flat at this point but as long as the 50 moving average is holding and offering resistance this will most likely drop back towards the 200 moving average so let's look at the nasdaq so nasdaq very similar we it looks like this is just a continuation of this decline we have declined roughly just above eight percent from the highs here to the lows rallied um, around two percent and now it looks like we are getting rejected at the 20 exponential moving average and pulling back towards the previous lows here and probably the 200 moving average which should be uh, where we'll find a massive amount of support so this is around 10 percent uh, pullback and just underneath here roughly 13 840 is where we'll find 12 percent pullback which is the normal pullbacks before going higher macd is uh, still bearish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is flat at this point so it's kind of a waiting game to see where how far this goes if we break above the middle of the bullish band and the 50 moving average there's a fairly good chance that this will continue to the upside we are still in upward trends and these pullbacks they happen in between and they are always very good buying opportunities so let's look at the german dax so german dax has been plummeting since uh, basically um, mid-august it has been on a decline towards the 200 moving average which we went through last week and then rallied but still we have not managed to break above the 50 or the 20 exponential moving average and as long as that is the case we may drop below the 200 again and then go towards uh, 14,500 or the 300 moving average down here if you look at macd it is bearish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is flat no interesting basically entering in this market at the moment as it looks like this pullback is still continuing so let's look at the uk uk FTSE. so there is uh, more life here and um, as we have a massive um, rally here when we pull back towards the 100 uh, 200 moving average last week and today we continue rallying but top of the bullish band that that offered a lot of resistant and this is the same level that we have been struggling in the past so it has been going quite sideways um, the last two weeks and um, we basically need to break above give or take uh, 7200 in order to go higher otherwise if we break below the middle of the bullish band then the 200 moving average should offer uh, a lot of support 
MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the China, China 50. So it has rallied today. Most of the Chinese stocks rallied, but it gave, gave most of those gains back at the end of the session. And now it looks like we have a shooting star here, which is not a very good sign. If we get a red candlestick here, break below the candlestick here, we could drop all the way down to the very bottom. But there is a triple bottom uh, down here, which should be um, offering uh, a lot of support as Chinese stocks have been absolutely battered the last uh, this year. 2001 has definitely not been good for the Chinese uh, stock market. And uh, considering all the bad news that is coming out of the Chinese economy, probably won't see this rallying significantly back to the very highs here anytime soon. So this bullish, uh, very bearish signal, uh, but it will depend on tomorrow whether or not we get a red candlestick here or not. If you look at the MACD, it is uh, bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.